Hello everyone, welcome if you are new or welcome back if you are returning and welcome to today's Makeup Monday. So today's video is going to be a full face makeup tutorial, obviously inspired by fall. We have the olives, we have the brown, we have the glitter, we have a flannel, we have the messy, curly um, hair going on. <laughs> so today's video is mainly inspired by the ColourPop It's a Mood palette. I've been wanting to film with this palette, but I just had other videos that I wanted to pre-film first. So I wanted to save that one for today's Makeup Monday style. And this is the look that I created. It's, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I really like the way it turned out. It's just all the fall vibes here. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video for Makeup Monday. I don't want to make the intro too long, so you already know. Grab your cafecito, grab your comfy blanket, sit back and enjoy, or get ready with me. We're gonna get ready for work or wherever you're gonna go. And let's go ahead and start with today's Makeup Monday fall inspired tutorial. Let's get started, you guys. As always, we're starting off with the base. NYX Ultimates Liner and Shadow Primer has been my go-to. It's just a must. It gets sticky, it's tacky, grips onto eyeshadows, just like the Milk face primer but this is for your eyes seriously it's the best thing that you have tried in 2021 you will not regret your purchase i like to just lay that on the eyes and get it nice and sticky for the eyes we're trying the it's a mood palette by ColourPop. this is such a gorgeous fall vibes palette you have every color that you can think of so we're gonna stick to this side of the palette for now with the i was gonna say with the oranges with the green so the first shade I am taking is called Oblivion and it is just a matte olive color. It's very pigmented. I almost wish this was a little more green and not so brown, but it's still a gorgeous color. And I just packed that on to the crease, really packing it tightly so I can then go back and blend it out with a nice, dense, fluffy brush. With that, I went in with the shade Midnight Run. This is a really nice contrast to Oblivion. They just paired really well together. I get asked a lot like how I know how to combine colors and honestly, sometimes you just got a color swatch and then put your fingers up to your eyes and see what colors match to the color that you just laid down, if that makes sense. But I use my color switch in between shadows just so I can clean up the crease and make it a little bit more soft and crisp. And I didn't go with additional product in that other brush. I just cleaned it up. I did go with a little bit of the shade Stay Close. And this one was really pretty. It's a soft, like peachy shade. And this is the last shade that I used as a transitional color to soften up Midnight Run, which was the second shade that we applied. And this just creates that soft ombre effect that you guys know me for and I absolutely love. I went back with a little bit more Oblivion because I felt like I needed that more olive -y punch. And then what I did here is I just went ahead and cut the crease. You guys have seen me do this a million times, but I just wanted to show you a quick trick in case you're new or you haven't seen it. If you do this and lay whatever base you are laying underneath or on your eyes and you look up, it'll show you where your knee, <laughs> what, where your lid naturally folds now i wanted to go in with two colors because i wanted to play with the with the palette and get a feel for it so i went with the shade surface this was a really really soft color i wasn't expecting for it to be this soft it, it's really pretty but i wanted an extra punch so i went with the shade wanna go and this one is definitely a little more olivey i placed that on the outer half of the eye and honestly both of these colors combined it looks so pretty I'm going back with the shade Oblivion, which is again that olive color. And I'm just blending out the edges to diffuse everything and make the contrast from the shimmer shadows to the matte shadows really be nice and gradients. I'm going to take my absolute, absolute favorite glitter glue from J Cat Beauty. It's all about that glitter. And I'm taking the shade Ritual, which is like that pressed glitter. I know a lot of people don't like these glitters. I personally love them, especially for fall. I think these are just so appropriate. And I just like that one on top of one ago, just to give it that extra pop and to play with the glitters. And I liked it a lot. I didn't get any fallout, but I did yes, use glitter glue. Oh my gosh, use glitter glue. So keep that in mind. It looks really pretty. I loved it with a half cut crease. You guys know these are just like my signature looks. These are my comfort zone, I guess. And that's what I like to do. So we're going to move on to the face. I'm going to take this Josie Marin Argan Oil Face Cream. 
it's called face butter this stuff is so amazing if your skin is dehydrated it's lackluster it needs a glow it needs a drench of something this is it's i received this in pr and i loved it i went in with my urban decay all-nighter gripping primer that i've been loving and then my absolute favorite foundation ever which is the Too Faced and Born This Way foundation oh my gosh this foundation this is my second bottle that says a lot okay I have tons of foundations but I just had to back or get a backup because I needed it for my concealer I wanted something that was going to brighten underneath the eyes so I went in with this Fenty Beauty concealer I think the shade is 180 or 108 something like that it's really pretty and it has a nice like vanilla-y neutral undertone and it just looks so beautiful and then i went in with the anisa concealer brush these brushes you guys are really nice they're very densely packed and they just blend out your concealer and your foundation super nicely so i've been really enjoying these i just went ahead and packed that underneath the eyes and made sure that i blended everything out to create a very bright eye woke look to set the skin, I used the LA Colors Mattifying Setting Powder in the shade Translucent or Universal, something like that. It's a really pretty powder. It's affordable. You can get it at Dollar General or Dollar Tree. I found mine at Dollar General. And then I went back with the shade Midnight Run and I just threw that underneath the waterline the lash line and I connected it to the top. I did also take a little bit of stay close and to buff that to the lower lash line to just really diffuse the color. I didn't add any of the olive green. I just felt like, I don't know, it looked pretty the way it was. So I just kept the eyes pretty simple as far as the lower lash line. I am taking one of my favorite eye pencils at the moment. This one is perfect for fall. It is the MAC Costa Riche eyeliner. It is so pretty. If you have brown or hazel eyes, green eyes honestly i feel like this will look pretty on so many eye colors because it's a rich coffee brown but it has beautiful red undertones anyways so for the skin i wanted to get a nice bronzy glow so i went in with the new catrice sun glow bronzer this is really pretty it gives you that like glowy look without being too shimmery it's not matte but it's not shimmer it's just a perfect glow it's beautiful and it just looks so nice on the skin and then i took this it's uh, bubbles or something like that blush I will have everything listed in the description box down below I am super forgetful you guys I'm sorry like I'm 31 I'm getting old I my memory is not what it used to be <laughs> but I just applied the blush onto my cheeks as well as on the tip of my nose just to give my skin a little extra flush and then for the highlight this is new to me and I have been using it. I have tested it out and it's just been my absolute go-to these past few days. It's in the shade La Arena and it is so pretty. So, so pretty. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. The skin looks wet. It looks healthy. It looks youthful. It's glowing and thriving. I'm here for it, okay? <laughs> I also take that to the forehead just to give myself a little mini, like brow lift if you will and i also take that onto the tip of my nose for my eyeliner this is a new one by fenty beauty it is so pretty it actually matches the mac costa riche eyeliner really well like these are a perfect duo so if you've been looking for something like that this is your new go-to pair it is so pretty for the fall again and it just looks so like rich and beautiful for the lip liner i'm taking the sweet tea lip liner by morphe and then i'm also taking one of the fenty beauty lip glosses this one is so pretty i think it's called honey dip it just looks oh my gosh like a piece of honey on your lips like that golden hazelnut color yeah it is so so pretty and i felt like it matched beautifully with the eyes so love this look let me know what you guys think and here is the final look. What do you guys think of this like very fall appropriate look? I feel like this is all the fall vibes. Flannel, we have a little bit of glitter. We have the lips, we have the olive color, we have the brown. I just, oh my gosh, I really like this look. And I really like the ColourPop, it's a mood palette. It's definitely a mood for fall really like it the colors are gorgeous and i just need to keep playing with it some more so ow 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video for Makeup Monday. And as always, if you recreate any of my looks, tag me on Instagram, send me a, a DM, or just tag me. And if I see your pictures, I will be sure to comment, give you a like, and repost you on my Instagram stories. That is it from you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you had an amazing day if you're watching this at night. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!